Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simona and for today I have a slightly more dynamic flow which is designed to wake up the body, energize the body, get the blood flowing and make you feel amazing. So when you're ready, sit on your mat, find a nice comfortable cross-legged position. If you need to sit on a block to lift the hips up slightly so you can find a tall spine, then feel free to do that now. And once you're all set up, then we'll begin with some spinal circles. So you lean over to one side and then lean forward, open up through the chest, lean to the other side and then round your spine as you lean back. And you keep going, moving fluidly, warming up the spine. Inhale every time you lean forward and exhale as you lean back. Two more in this direction. Make this feel intuitive, make it feel good in your body. There is no right or wrong way to make these circles. And now let's reverse. So you switch the direction of your circles. Maybe tuck the chin as you lean back and then see if you can open up through your heart as you lean forward. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Come back to center. Now we'll find cat cow here. So inhale, lift up through the chest, broaden across your collarbones. Exhale, round your spine, tuck the chin, lean back. Inhale, open up through the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift up, expand. And exhale, round. Final time, inhale. Exhale. Come back to center, find a tall spine and bring the hands to your shoulders, open the elbows wide. Inhale here in the center, exhale, twist to the left, using your core to twist. Inhale back to center with control, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale center, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. One more on each side. Inhale to the center. Exhale, twist to the left and stay. Now release your hands. Right hand on the outside of the left knee. Left hand behind you for support. And you can gently use your hands to help you deepen your twist. Inhale, find length. And exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper, maybe gazing back behind you. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now engage the core again, replace the hands onto your shoulders and then inhale to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Stay, release your hands, left hand on the outside of the right knee, right hand behind you, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Good, return the hands back onto your shoulders and inhale back to center. Release the hands down, nice. Side body stretch here, extend the left hand out to the side, reach the right arm up and over, lean to the left. Find a nice side body stretch here, really extend through the top arm. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back up, lower the right hand down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, lean over to the right. Two deep breaths, really find length across the side body. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up slowly and exhale, lower the left hand down. Good. Let's come forward now into a tabletop position. So come onto the hands and the knees, spread your fingertips wide, index fingers point forward, knees, hips width apart and underneath your knees. Drop the belly, arch your spine, gaze forward as you inhale. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, now arch the spine, open through the chest, through the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round. Two more times, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Final time, inhale. And exhale. 
come back to neutral spine. Now we're going to extend the left leg back. You can point the toes for this one and then extend the right arm forward. So opposite leg and arm. Inhale, lift them up, extend and exhale round your spine now and bring the right elbow to the left knee. So you bring them to touch or even past each other underneath your belly. Inhale, now re-expand, reach the right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, round and crunch. Three more times, inhale and exhale. Starting to build some more heat in the body, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, expand and see if you can reach and sweep the right arm out to the right and to the back. Bend the left knee. See if you can grab a hold of that left foot with the right hand. If you can, then kick the foot into your own hand and lift up through your chest. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, slowly release the left foot. Extend the left leg, sweep the right arm forward and then lower the left knee down and the right hand down. Good job, those are challenging, I know. Hopefully you're starting to feel the heat. Now let's do the opposite side. So extend the right leg back and then the left arm forward. Take a breath in, inhale, lift up. Exhale, around your spine, bring the left elbow towards the right knee or past each other. Inhale, expand and extend. Exhale, round and crunch. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Inhale, now expand and extend. Sweep the left arm out to the side and back. Bend the right knee and see if you can catch a hold of the right foot with the left hand. If you can, then kick the right foot into the left hand and lift up through your chest. Gaze forward. One more deep breath, inhale and exhale. Slowly release the grip, extend the right leg, sweep the left arm forward and then lower the left hand down, the right knee down. Good. Tuck your toes, sit back on top of your heels. Make sure the pinky toes are also tucked under. Sit back, lean back. Now let's find the Gomukasana arms. So lift the right arm up, bend your elbow and reach the right hand down towards the bottom of your shoulder blades. Left hand behind you, reaching the left hand up towards the right hand and see if you can find the fingertips. <laughs> if you can, then you can make a, a grip and then use that to deepen the stretch as you lean your head back into your hands. If that's not possible, just keep reaching, it's fine. It'll come or it won't and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Same thing, you're feeling a stretch anyways, I hope, so it's all good. One more breath. And slowly release. Let's do the other side. If the toes are killing you and the feet are really painful right now, you can just come out of the toe position, it's fine. Otherwise, stay in it. If you're here, just breathe. If you can manage to clasp the hands, clasp the hands and lean your head back, opening across the shoulders. One more breath. and slowly release. Good, untuck your toes. You can tap your feet a little bit on the mat if you need to. And we'll find puppy pose. So again, hips will stay over your knees and then you lean, uh, you reach your hands forward and you drop the chest down towards the floor. Maybe the forehead can lower down as well. Opening your upper back. If you're a bit more flexible, you can lower your chin down and gaze forward. It's just a slightly deeper variation, but it doesn't really matter. Just take what suits you today. One more breath. And then we're going to come forward into a sphinx pose. So lower down onto your elbows and then lower the hips down. So fingers and hands straight forward from the elbows and the elbows are underneath your shoulders. Lift up through the chest, drag your, your um, elbows back towards your waist, which will then allow the heart space to move forward. Let's circle through the neck. So lower your head to the right, then lower your chin down, 
and then lower the left ear to the left shoulder, lift up and back around, right ear, right shoulder, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder and lift up. Opposite direction, left ear, left shoulder, circle down and around one more. And back to center, good. Release, lower down. We'll find three locust uh, lifts. So extend your arms alongside your body, palms face down. Point to the toes, and then we're going to inhale to lift the chest, the legs, and the arms up. And exhale, lower everything down. Two more times, the same thing. Inhale, lift the legs, the arms, and the chest. Exhale, lower down. One more inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Place the hands down, lift yourself up, tuck your toes, and let's find downward facing dog. So find your down dog. You can pedal through your feet, bending one knee and then the other. And then eventually find stillness in your down dog. And we'll find turbo down dog. So what that looks like is you bend your knees and you send the hips down towards the heels more or less. But you're not allowing the knees to lower all the way to the mat. They're just hovering. And then from here, we'll come into a plank position. And then bend the knees a lot, almost to touch the floor. And then send the hips back towards your heels. And then extend the legs towards the down dog. So these are turbo dog spinal waves, let's say. So let's do three more of those. So inhale, plank. Exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels. And extend the legs. Two more, inhale, plank. Exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels. Down dog. One more, plank pose. Bend your knees, hover them. Hips towards heels. And then extend the legs. Very good job. Inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward in between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, lift up through the chest, low lunge. Exhale, half split, extend the right leg. Inhale, low lunge, one breath. Exhale, step the left foot forward next to the right. Inhale, find the halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach out, reach up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and step the right foot back. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, lift up through the chest, low lunge. Exhale, straighten through the left leg, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands down, tuck the back toe, step the left foot back next to the right plank pose. Inhale in plank. Exhale, lower all the way onto your belly. Cobra pose, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, press into the hands, lift yourself up, downward facing dog. So this is the variation of sun salutes we'll take. And we'll take three more rounds. Lift the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Lower the back knee down, inhale, lift the chest, low lunge. Exhale, straighten through the left leg, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands down, step the right foot forward next to the left. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach out, reach up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step the left foot back, lower the knee, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands down, tuck the back toes, step the right foot next to the left, plank pose. Inhale in plank. Exhale, lower all the way onto your belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. 
tuck the toes, lift yourself up, find downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Lower the back knee, low lunge, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold and step the right foot back. Low lunge, inhale. Exhale, half split. Now low lunge and listen up. Lift up through the chest, place the left forearm onto that left thigh and see if you can begin to bend the back knee, maybe catch a hold of that right foot. If it's at all possible, if not, stay in your low lunge. If it is possible, you work to square the chest and the hips to the front as you bring the right foot closer to the glutes. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Slowly release the foot. Place the hands down, tuck the back toes under, step the left foot next to the right for plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower all the way onto your belly. Cobra, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, come up, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up, inhale. Exhale, left foot steps forward in between the hands. Lower the right knee down, lift the chest, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, step the right foot forward next to the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, left leg steps back. Low lunge, inhale. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. And now, right forearm onto the right thigh. See if you can bend the back knee, maybe catch a hold of the foot. And if you can, begin to bring the left foot closer to your glute as you square the chest and the hips towards the front. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, release the foot slowly. Lower your hands down, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step the right foot next to the left plank pose, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way onto your belly. Inhale, lift up the chest, cobra. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, press up and back, downward facing dog. Very good job. Hopefully your body is feeling a lot more open now, a lot more awake. And let's keep going. So reach the right leg up to the sky, bend your right knee, and now transition forward towards a plank as you around and um, as you arch your spine, I mean. So it's like a, <laughs> like a cow pose more or less, but in plank. And then you bring the right toes towards the back of your head as you lift the head up. So it's like you almost want to touch the back of your head with the right toes, inhale. Exhale, now round your spine, tuck the right knee towards your nose as you round like a cat. Two more times, inhale, lift up the chest, toes towards the back of the head, exhale, round your spine, knee towards nose. One more time, inhale, exhale. This time, step the right foot forward and we'll come all the way up into a high lunge. Reach your arms up to the sky and breathe. One more deep breath here, inhale, exhale. Now we're going to tap the back knee down on the floor. Just tap it and then lift it back up three times. So here we go. Tap the knee down and lift it up. Tap it down and lift. One more tap and lift. Good. Now lean forward, sweep your arms down and back for airplane arms. And you're leaning your chest over the right leg. So there is still a gap between your chest and the leg. You're not actually resting on the leg. You're hovering. At the same time, squeeze the arms behind you, pinkies towards each other. 
creating a long line from the back heel through the crown of your head. One more breath. Now we're going to transition forward into a warrior three. Make your way there, standing on the right leg, flex the left foot, keep reaching back with your hands. Inhale, exhale. Now press into the right foot to come to stand. Ooh, if you lose your balance, don't worry. And just squeeze the left knee towards your chest as you reach the arms up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, lower the left foot down next to the right and lower your hands down. Good job. Inhale, reach the arms up, maybe gentle back bend at the top. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold. Step the left foot back, step the right foot back, come into plank, inhale. Now listen up, exhale, micro bend your elbows and lower your hips down as you lift your chest up. So it's like an upward dog with the toes tucked. And breathe, inhale. Exhale. Now engage your core, press into your hands. Send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Well done. Same thing on the other side. Lift the left leg up to the sky. And we have those plank cat cows, remember? So shift your weight forward, bend the left knee, see if you can bring the toes towards the back of your head as you lift the gaze up. Inhale. Exhale, now round your spine, bring the left knee towards your nose. Inhale, arch, toes towards the back of the head. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, arch your spine, toes towards the back of the head. And exhale to round. Good. Step the left foot forward. And come up, high lunge. Lift the arms up, reach up. At the same time, sink the hips down. Very good, very well done. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. From here, we'll tap the back knee down three times. So when you're ready, tap and lift. Tap and lift. One more, tap and lift. Now lean forward, sweep your arms down and reach them back. Bring the pinkies towards each other behind you, really engage your arms. Create a long line from the back, right heel, all the way along your back and out through the crown of your head. Keep breathing. Keep pressing through the left foot, through the left heel. One more breath here, inhale. And exhale. Now we'll transition into warrior three. Take your time to get there. You can take a small step to find the balance and then lift the right leg up. Warrior three, deep breath. And out. Good. Now slowly press through the left foot to come to stand. Lift the right knee towards your chest, sweep the arms up, one breath. And exhale, lower the right foot down, lower the hands down. Good job. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Maybe gentle back bend. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back. And then find that upward facing dog again with the toes tucked. So bend the elbows a little bit, then begin to lower your hips down as you lift up through your chest. Engage the glutes, engage the backs of your legs. And breathe. One more, inhale. And exhale, now press into the hands, engage your core, and come back into downward facing dog. Woo, good job. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Lower the back knee down. The back knee, <laughs> the back foot, I mean, the back heel. Then we'll come up into warrior one. Reach the arms up. And make sure that the right foot is kind of close to the right edge of the mat, so you can actually square the hips forward. One more breath in warrior one, inhale. And exhale. Sweep your arms down and back, interlace your fingers behind your back and reach the knuckles down towards the back heel. 
lift up through your chest, inhale, as you exhale, lean forward and lower your chest to the inside of the right leg. At the same time, reach the knuckles up towards the sky and breathe for humble warrior. You can relax the head down as well if you have your balance. Two breaths here, reaching the knuckles up as the crown of the head is lowering down towards the floor. One more breath. And slowly lift up. Take your time with this. And lift all the way up. Very good, release the hands. You can place them under your hips. Lift the back heel and now you're in a high lunge position. So high lunge, hips face forward, back heel is lifted. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky again. And exhale, twist to the right as you open through the arms. So right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward and you're in a twist, twisted lunge, twisting to the right. Inhale and exhale. If you want, you can lower the right hand down onto the back of that left thigh and lift the left arm up and back, finding a back bend here, a reverse twisted high lunge, inhale. As you exhale, slowly come up and then cartwheel your arms down, lowering the left hand all the way down onto the floor as you reach the right arm up to the sky for easy spinal twist. Or just easy twist actually, what it's called, inhale and exhale. Lower the back knee down. Walk that left hand a little bit more out to the left. Make sure that the right knee is over the right ankle at least. And then twist to the right, see if you can bend the back knee, maybe find the left foot with the right hand. And if you did, this time kick the foot into the hand as you open through the chest and through the right shoulder. Maybe lean back slightly, lift the gaze a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Release the foot, tuck the back toes, return the, right, the left hand underneath your shoulder. Lift the back knee up and we're going to find a wild thing. So we'll step the right foot on the floor behind the left leg, press into the feet and into that left hand to lift your hips up towards the sky. Inhale here and exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly come back into a downward dog shape. Three-legged dog, reach the right leg up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, now right knee towards the left elbow, and then extend the right leg, plant the outer edge of that right foot down. Lower the left foot down, turning the toes of the left foot to the left, and then find a kind of a side plank slash fallen triangle variation, reaching the left arm up to the sky. In fact, if you want, you can also extend the left arm so it's alongside your ear, Keep pressing through the right hand, lifting the hips up. One more breath. Inhale. And then exhale slowly. Lower your hips all the way down onto the mat. So in a wide-legged position. You can open the legs a little bit wider if you want. Inhale, find a tall spine. And exhale, fold in between your legs. Take a moment here to catch your breath. Flex your feet. Inhale, exhale, good, and lift up, well done. Right hand back onto the, to the mat, fingertips facing forward. We'll sweep the left arm up as we press into the right hand and into the feet to lift the hips up. And from here, extend the left arm up to the sky and see if we can hover the right foot up in the air. So it's like a side plank, this time with the right foot lifting. I know it's a bit challenging, but do your best, inhale, and as you exhale, come back into a down dog. Lower the right foot down. Just a regular down dog now. Very nice. Inhale, come forward into a plank. Exhale, lower all the way into your belly. Point the toes. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest, lift the legs, lift the arms, and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, release. Plant the hands down. Lift yourself all the way up. Tuck the toes, down dog. Same sequence on the left leg. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. 
Exhale, step the left foot forward. Lower the back heel down. Inhale, come all the way up, warrior one. Reach your arms up to the sky. Square your hips towards the front of the mat. Two breaths, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Sweep your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers, this time the more unusual grip. So opposite thumb on top. And then lift up through the chest as you draw the knuckles down towards the back of the right leg. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward. And allow your chest to lower down on the inside of the left leg. At the same time, reach your knuckles up towards the sky. You can release your head down. Two breaths here, humble warrior. One more breath. Now take your time, press into the feet to slowly lift yourself all the way up. Come up and then release your hands. Lift the back heel off the mat so you can square the hips forward into a regular high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, now twist to the left as you open your arms in opposite directions. Very nice. Right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back, twisting through the spine. If you want, you can lower the left hand down onto the back of the right leg as you reach the right arm up and back. Find a deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly make your way back up and then with control lower the right hand down on the inside of the left foot underneath your shoulder. Then press into the feet and lift and reach the left arm up to the sky. Easy twist, inhale and exhale. All right, then lower the back knee down slowly. Le right hand further out to the right a little bit, making sure also that the left knee is over the left ankle. From here, begin to bend the back knee and see if you can catch a hold of that right foot. If you can, then press the foot into the hand so you can begin to open through the chest. Maybe lean back slightly a little bit, opening the heart, gazing a little bit up towards the sky. One more breath. And slowly release the back foot. Return the right hand underneath your shoulder, tuck the back toes under, and we'll find the wild thing. So we'll step the right, the left foot behind the right leg on the floor. Then press into the feet, into that right hand, lift your hips up towards the sky, lift up through the chest, expand, deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale and exhale. All right, very good job, return back into a three-legged down dog. Lift the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring the left knee towards the right elbow, cross it under. And then extend the left leg, place the outer edge of the left foot onto the mat, or actually outside your mat on the floor. Lower the back foot down, toes of the right foot point to the right, and lift right arm up towards the sky as you lift your hips. If you want, you can extend the right arm alongside your ear. Fingertips point forward. See if you can lift the hips a little bit higher. Inhale and exhale, slowly lower your hips all the way onto the mat. And you find yourself into a wide-legged position. Flex the toes, inhale. And exhale, fold in between the legs. Take a moment to reconnect with your breath. One more inhale and exhale. Slowly lift yourself up. Left hand back onto the mat. Sweep the right arm, press into the feet, press into the left hand, lift your hips up once again. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Shorten the legs a little bit and see if you can hover the left, the bottom leg, so the left leg, up off the mat into this side plank variation. Inhale. And exhale, return back into your downward facing dog. Both feet on the floor. Excellent work, very good job. Inhale, come forward, high plank. 
Exhale, lower all the way onto your belly. Point your toes, bend the knees, see if you can reach back, catch a hold of the feet. Thumbs point down. Inhale, lift up through the chest, kick the feet into your hands. Lift the legs, lift the thighs off the mat. Reach the feet towards the sky. And breathe. Two more breaths here. Engage your glutes, see if you can kick even more into the hands. One for a final breath here, inhale. Exhale, slowly release the feet and lower all the way down. One breath here, relax for a moment. Excellent, and then come back into that Sphinx position. So Sphinx was where our elbows are underneath the shoulders and you lift up through the chest. One breath, inhale and exhale. Now tuck the toes under, lift the hips, come into a forearm plank. Just two breaths in forearm plank, engage the core, press into the elbows, press into the hands, shoulders over elbows. Okay, and from here, see if you can walk the feet towards your elbows for dolphin pose. It's okay if you need to bend the knees a lot to make this happen. Just two breaths in that dolphin. If you can straighten the legs, of course, then you, you can do that. You can also come higher onto the tiptoes. This will make it a little bit more intense. Just one more breath, inhale. And exhale, release, lower your knees down onto the floor. Untuck your toes and sit the hips back on top of the heels for child's pose. Rest your forehead down onto the mat for a second. Inhale. Exhale. And lift up. We'll do a camel pose and then we'll wind it down and then we'll finish. So for camel, lift your hips up. You can tuck your toes to begin with. Place your hands onto the back of your waist, so the low back. Fingertips can point up for this one. See if you can squeeze your elbows towards each other behind you as you lift up through the chest. Gaze slightly up towards where the ceiling and the wall meet each other in your room. If you're outside, just imagine that. And you could stay right here, breathe here. Or if you want, you can release one hand onto the heel, maybe the other hand as well. And then stay here and breathe. You could keep looking forward or if it's comfortable on your neck, you can release your head back. One more breath. And then slowly come up. Untuck the toes, sit the heel, hips back over the heels. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, sit down onto the hips, extend your legs forward. Extend the left leg, bend the right knee. Sole of the right foot against the inner left thigh, find a tall spine. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Two deep breaths here. And slowly lift up. Opposite leg, extend the right leg, bend the left leg, sole of the left foot against the inner right thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Two breaths. Slowly lift up. Very good. Extend both legs. We'll find both poles, so just five breaths. So lift the legs up, hover them, woo, <laughs> find your balance first and hover the legs off the mat. Then extend your arms forward. Now you could stay here with the knees bent or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can extend the legs. It's up to you, just five breaths here. Inhale, lift up through the chest even more. Exhale, four more, inhale. And exhale, three more, good job, smile. Exhale, you're almost there, inhale. 
exhale one final breath inhale and exhale and slowly release your legs down flex your feet reach your arms up to the sky inhale exhale fold over your legs completely relax melt down two breaths one final breath deep breath in deep breath out and lift up very good job cross the legs find a tall spine just like we started class inhale sweep your arms up towards the sky deep breath exhale lower the hands in front of your heart bow your chin down find gratitude for yourself for taking the time to practice to move your body to reawaken to re-energize it and i hope you feel amazing after this quite invigorating practice it was my pleasure to guide you and i hope you enjoyed this class and i wish you a pleasant and amazing rest of your day namaste